Hello, this is Joyce Chow for MB Anna News Video Local. We're here, here with Adrena, who's going to be doing an oxygen facial today. And I know, which is, which is really, really exciting. But a lot of you have probably seen signs for oxygen facial, but you don't know exactly what it is or how it differs from a regular facial. Can you tell us? I can definitely tell you. Um, it's one of our most popular facials right now, and it's just a rejuvenating facial that brings life pretty much back into your skin. It's really oh. popular with like the stars of you know Madonna, Nicole Kidman, Alicia Keys, um, and basically it's just putting it's pushing oxygen into your skin, into your pores. Right. Um, we can do that also along with some serums for anti aging. And yes, it just, please. It just <laughs> right anti aging. We all that. We all want that. Um, but it targets you know all the lines and different. Um, you know, blemishes and things on your skin, and it just, you know, brings life into it. And, uh, you know, it's a hydrating effect, and it's firming, and it is just, it replenishes everything. That sounds really good. So after that type of facial, then why would you, <laughs> why would you even choose another one? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, these are also good because, you know, it's kind of an alternative to, like, the Botox or, right. you know, a lot of people don't want to put that poison in their body or, you know, they don't want to take that leap yet, yeah. you know. So, you know, it's relaxing and, you know, we all need a little bit of oxygen, so. <laughs> so, okay. So this is me beforehand. <laughs> yes. You're going to see me afterwards. Oh, yeah. And actually, without makeup. Yeah, okay. but don't worry, I'll cleanse all that for you. And, okay, you know, we'll bring we'll bring some some life. Not that you're not beautiful as it no. is, but you know, this is what we're here for—to bring life and you know a youthfulness and a nice, wonderful glow to our. We could all use a little help. Yeah, we all could. We all could. So. Now, are there any certain types of people that are good candidates or not good candidates for it? Um, no, this is a wonderful facial for everybody okay. um, because you know it's like we we use a spray gun um, and so it's you know, pushes the oxygen and air, so even if you have sensitive skin or, you know, blemished skin, it just feels really good, you know? So it's relaxing on top of the airbrush feeling, it just feels really, really good. Can you get too much oxygen? Like, can you get too many facials? I know sometimes they'll recommend for you to facials like once a week. You can do once a week or, or maybe, you know, once every couple of weeks. Um, you don't want to do too, too much to where you know, once you're getting a little bit too much steam, a little bit too much oxygen, you can start to um, dry your skin out a little bit. Oh, so we have to be careful. Remember to stay moisturized and, you know, just don't overdo it. You know, we get a little bit crazy with the, you know, trying all the new products. It's great to try new products. We just need to not overdo it. Stick with a nice regimen that's going to work for you. And, you know, for, for times when, you know, you have a photo shoot or an event, like a red carpet or something like right. that, that's when these oxygen facials are better because it just plumps everything up and brightens okay. everything. And so is there a certain <laughs> amount of time, like before special occasion, I know like, for example, I would gotten a pill the other week, right? And they're like, oh no, it's safe. And, you know, one of my friends says, oh no, you won't be able to go anywhere afterwards. And then they put makeup on me and I swear I was a different person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, um, you know, there was some drawing and yes, mm -hmm. you know, it did all this stuff. But I mean, but part of it is like, I looked at that glycolic pill and I thought, you know, before I couldn't even go on camera the next day, mm -hmm. like, although I was on camera that night, but was, I felt like a clown. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I literally did because it, well, is there any, you know, like, do you need like one day beforehand or? You, well, that? definitely, I would not do a peel before you do some sort of event or, or for, you know, camera ready. Mm -hmm. Not that, because you have to treat a peel in a certain way, keep it really moisturized and hydrated. So you, you spend a little bit of time with, you know, really, really greasy looking, oily skin. The results after the fact are going to be awesome for you, right. but I just wouldn't recommend a peel before uh, a red carpet event or anything. That's why we do oxygen facials. So um, an oxygen facial, do you need? You that can definitely do it. You know, the day before, um, and it'll give you that that brightening, you know, rejuvenated effect. Um, that youthful doing glow. Yes, the youthful glow that we all want. <laughs> so I, you would definitely do that. Um, I would stay away from if you go in like the day before a shoot or a photo shoot or you know a red carpet event or something like that. Um, maybe avoid um, extractions or something like you know anything right. that's a little bit too you know protruding for you. Um, you know the next day you may see some redness. But if you just go in for like a relaxing, a nice massage, and the oxygen just to, you know, breathe that life back into you for the next day shoot, you know, 
that, that should be good because oxygen, it's not harmful. It's just, you know, breathing life into you. So. Okay. Well, all I know is you have absolutely gorgeous skin. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> hopefully mine will look as good as hers. Oh, well, I think yes. that looks good. But we're going to, we're definitely going to give you, you know, that, that glow, that effect. That, okay. That thing we always want. <laughs> well, this is our little fabulous oxygen machine. And this is the airbrush device that we use. Mm -hmm. um, so it just basically is spraying oxygen deep into your pores. And in the top, I've added a little bit of anti-aging serums. I hope a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> enough, enough. I wouldn't do you wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you'll just feel a little brushing. It'll feel yummy and cool and a little bit of a mist. So what you missed so far is, of course, just cleaned off my face. Yes. Then a little cleanser, extractions, and a collagen mask. Mm -hmm. Boy, this is a royal treatment, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, and of course, in the massages of the hands and the shoulders, and, and then to the oxygen facial. And then to the other. Yeah. Okay, so here's our little fabulous oxygen machine, and this is the airbrush. Put serum, anti-aging serum on the top mm -hmm. here. So you're going to feel a little bit of, um, just like, not suction, but wind, just pushing. Okay. You know, if you've ever held a hair brush down that way. And you just start. You want to line every part of the face. It feels like those spray misters for your face when it's mm -hmm. up. <laughs> you can target every little line right here. Lines around the eyes. It feels good though, mm -hmm. not refreshing. Mm -hmm. You can even do like the lips, you know, the eyebrows. It's a really fine mist. Right? Yeah, it's a really fine mist. Yeah. And you just want to be sure to just go over several times, so lines it on the eyes. And do the massage from the skin. And the extractions before. Yeah, extractions before because it um, has to clean it out. Yeah, it'll pull all the dirt out of your pores, you know, and then it'll leave them open so that when you come back through with the oxygen, it's good. It'll get in there deep into the pores, which is what we want because that's when we start to see the salt. This is just going to give you a great glow. Does it help to make lines go away? It just it, it kind of breathes life back into it. It'll help, yeah. It'll give you, give you that, you know, vibrance. Um, what I would do is possibly incorporate um, microderm with it, and that'll help move lines and give you patient. And then you take the airbrush, and you know, you just breathe the life right back into the skin. Like right before what a well, and, um, actually you probably wouldn't want to do it for an event because you'd be so relaxed after. Yeah, not unless you did it like a little bit earlier in the day, mm -hmm. and then you know. If the but not a few hours evening. beforehand. It's no, because like, you might want to take a nap. With all the good <laughs> feeling, you know. It does. It feels really, really yeah. good. So care after this. 
So what? So, so what do you do to help prolong the next afterward? I I would just recommend just a daily, you know, upkeep of your your skin. You need to a really good skincare regimen, you know, that consists of a cleanser and an exfoliant and a toner, just an at home that you always do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you should really only be exfoliating at home, you know, two to three times a week. Um, make sure you keep your skin moisturized and eye cream. Mm -hmm. ah, and really more importantly of all, um, sunscreen, because that's what's yeah. going to protect your skin on a daily basis from the aging process. Uh, the sun causes 90% of premature aging. Yeah. And it starts when we're tiny babies, so. Mm. So wear a hat too. Yeah, wear a hat, make sure you wear your sunscreen, and you know, you try to avoid the tanning, but it's hard to do, you know, which is why we also offer spray tans. Mm -hmm. but, you know, in the end, you'll appreciate all the work that you put into it because it's really good. you'll notice the difference. But that's mostly what I see um, yeah. is, you know, when you have a daily upkeep at home, you know, 60% of the work we do ourselves at home and then the other 40% we come in for pampering and mm. for treatment.